See, this is why uh, people think that Donald Trump is Jackson 2.0. I mean, we can compare it right here with the bank war. You know, Jackson, he went in there. He got rid of the banks. He gave the power back to the people. We see the same thing here with Donald Trump. We see the media war. He's shattering the narrative. He's bringing the media to its knees like how Jackson brought the bank to its knees. He is showing people that we are just Americans. He's trying to get people to evolve past this black and white narrative that has plagued our society for, like, let's say the last hundred years. Because the media has been keeping that ugly beast alive when everyone knows it's really not that true. It's not as bad as it seems. Just like I heard, it's a great example. When they're going out there, when you see, like, a co- white cop beats a black dude... And then you see, like, why don't people petition, like, the Eighth Amendment, you know? Why is it just black and white, white and black? Why isn't it just Eighth Amendment? Like, why doesn't everyone rally around the Eighth Amendment and say, like, as Americans, we shouldn't tolerate being beaten together? But they don't do that because the media doesn't want it that way. That's why Trump is breaking the narrative with this media war. He is showing people to evolve past that and just see that we're all Americans. We're just Americans, because look what Americans can do when we come together. We did it with the British Empire. All the Americans, we rallied together, we fought back an unstoppable force. At the time of the world, it was the most powerful thing, and no one thought that they could beat it. And when America and our idea got together, we destroyed that beast. That's why these tyrants hate the idea of America. They want to kill it, because America may not be perfect, but the idea is and what it stands for. Quick thought.